on. So 17, 17 minute mark. If Team Solid Boys didn't, if Solid Boys um, end the game or got their lead just before 17 minute mark, they can get this win. But if the, but if past that time or yeah that marker, it could be Team Jejebus game. All right, totally respect that, totally valid. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number five. It's do or die for both of these teams. And Renege knocks out Arbe up top off camera first blood for Team Jejimon. So Kaysaya, just to recap, if Team Solid Boys are able to close this or at least get close to ending at around the 17 minute mark, maybe this is their game, maybe. Yeah. Okay, um... but... As a, as a baseline, you're still saying Team Jejimon because that's what history has stated. For sure. So I'm just basically okay. focusing on what they're doing in, in, in today's Definitely. matches. Definitely. And they're trading back and forth. Look, up top, it was uh, Renege. And down bottom, <laughs> it was MLA. Chango getting knocked out by the, the, the Jawhead. So they're, they're just mirroring at this point. They're mirroring. Yeah, they can send that Uranus up top because there's an Esmeralda. So still okay that that Uranus, even though he died under the hands of the Jawhead, uh, he remains in that position because he he cannot match up that much against an Esmeralda. For the for the meantime, kind of a passive play so far by Team Solid Boys, Jejemon, um, Rene J going for. Uh, play onto the top side. Ooh, look at that. I think that was like an overstay and overextension by Rene J. Yep, I guess Rene J was thinking, I got you the first time, I'll get you again, but nope, not this no, time. He overextended, no. you're right. Down bottom, though, check it out, Mr. V putting up enough shields to survive, but ooh, Nahil oh. caught out between. Three members of Team Solid Boys. 3 1 is a score, Curly Kaysaya. It seems like we're going that path once more. The early game to the yeah, mid belongs right. to Team Solid Boys, while Jejimon just relies on their discipline and late game potential. Oh no. Oh no. Because oh, no. look at that. Cram on a 1 0 1. That's a Baksha. We haven't seen Baksha for long, but we know by history, Baksha uh, could make some good plays in terms of going for CC and, of course, protecting the front line. They're going for an invade in here. Team Solid Boys is... Who's gonna get the last hit? I think it went on to... Um, yeah, done on, on the Lancelot. They're capitalizing now on the early lead that they got. And now it's just about them going for... Uh, you know, for a take wherein they could utilize that. By the way, one more thing though. I just realized again that uh, Team Solid Boys got an Esmeralda on, on their lineup. And Esmeralda is also a late game hero. So I wonder if that equalized the late game lead that uh, late game potential of Tira. Hmm. Uh, 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 maybe I'd say maybe, but I get we have to always count the fact that it's a five v five and Doggy here okay. is able to block the dives, right? But look at this now, Cram okay. popping the poisons, able to survive. He's coming in for more. He's rolling, rolling, rolling. But he will go ahead and turn onto Doggy and his Doggy, nonetheless. There you go, oh, unstoppable no. force. Down goes Popol, and they can go for this conversion. But Tira here and Nakil able to stop the onslaught. But the turret's gonna go down. There you go, turret will fall down. Nakil will fall down as well. Renegade caught in the middle. There's still four members in the side of Team Solid Boys, but he will manage to get a kill. And uh, there you go. A transition though onto the turtle side, even though they lost one member. Uh, at, at least this. Uh, global objective that uh, everyone in the team can utilize is in for themselves. So 1k gold lead in favor of Team Solid Boys. 6-2, they got a lead in terms of kills as well and they want to get more because they will be taking down Akosi Doggy again on that Popol and Koopa. Knucklehead, uh, kind of a fail use of the, of course, the ultimate because that was not usually the situation where you want to make use of that and at the same time, I think um, Jawhead will be able to get another turret for his team. Mm -hmm. 
And again, it's the story of the century. Tale as old as time. Team Solid Boys ahead in the early game, but can they close? Can they close in time? Nice steal on the purple by Tan. Arbe though, let's see, can he win this? This is round three, I believe, between him and Ren and Jay, popping the <laughs> Inferno. And here comes Cram, getting him with a stun. Can they get him, can they pin him down? Nope, not gonna be possible. Now Doggy bursted down. There's Edge with the kill. The rotation, Tira barely surviving. Oh. Glorious Pathway stopping the Solid Boys in their path. Look at that burst coming up from Tan. That lands a lot, sending back Tira not allowing him to free hit anyone. So that's something again beneficial on this early game time because no one is that of tanky enough to frontline for Tira. They have to wait for late game. But Solid Boys, they seem like they don't wanna wait for the late game anymore. They have learned already. They said. They yeah, have learned it's already. such an it's such an interesting juggle here between Solid Boys early and Jejamon's uh, potential for the late game comebacks. Now, 4,000 gold ahead in under 7 minutes. This is going to be the second turtle of the game in 10 seconds. Um, so far, it's a great position for Jejamon. They pushed in all tier 1 turrets. And Jejamon just can't go all in because Nakhil is, is going to have to think twice if he should use Glorious Pathway plus Revitalize to ensure that they survive because even Tira isn't ready. Tira barely has his Raptor Machete plus... Uh, the, the 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 start of an endless battle, oh, but Mister V caught out. He's gonna go down here. Yeah, he just bought some time. Yeah, for the free turtle. It's not gonna be yeah. sent. Yeah. Bush gaming. I like this. I like this. You just have to patiently wait. Please, 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 don't go outside and just wait for for a target. Maybe a cozy doggy could be a target. Oh look. Oh 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 oh. There's <gasps> there's the traps. Unfortunately, and the trap will definitely like. You know, you gotta wait for, for a lot of seconds before you can even go outside at one. Yeah. Update. Again, this is a Luo Yi lineup from Team Solid Boys, and it's so potent when your lineup has an assassin core in it, right? And not to even mention Kram and Arbe as awesome tank frontliners to ensure that they got the catch. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling good for Team Solid Boys here. Ooh. Ooh, look at that damage coming up from Louis and of course the Lancelot taking Mega down kill. one, two members on the side of Team Jejumon. Tira can't do anything much, Double getting slowed down, oh. getting easy, of course. He will just fall down. And what more we got in here? ML uh, oh no, giving a triple kill to Tan, 6-0-3. This Lancelot, Lancelot needs to be shut down for them to make He's got to stop. This, this madman must be stopped. Tan is just going ham. This turret is gonna fall. Ladies and gentlemen, we're waiting for the third turtle of the game. Uh, I think they can still take this, to take this, right? After this little wonder, they go ahead, take their buffs, and then they're gonna go for this turtle. And from there, maybe an early lord even. That's how ahead Solid Boys are. 6,000 in under 9 minutes. Man. Yeah, they have to be Turtle ahead. Soon. If they don't do that, they could, uh, you know, potentially... Okay, there's a request. Some of the tier 2 turrets. I think all of the tier 2 turrets. No, it's just the mid lane turret. Just in the, mid. Okay. On the side of Team Jejamon, yeah. Okay. With that being said, oh, here is a quick turtle take as we go back into the game. I, uh, yeah. I don't know, Kaisaya. Is it just me or is Team Solid Boys ahead now way more than they ever were in any of the series before this? They like, is this are. the most dominant we've seen yes. them? Yes. 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 Uh, that's a quick yes for me because <laughs> this is not what they're showing since early today. Sometimes it, they will have to wait for, you know, past 15 minute mark and still apparently right? making it work. Mm -hmm. So I agree on, on your observation of that one. Yeah. You're not mistaken. So, so, for our secondary core here, are we looking at Rene J? Rene J could be the uh, one who uh, cuts off some slack uh, here for Tira while he's not ready just yet. But look at this now. I think Solid Boys are going to force this oh, fight. No. Nice rotation here.
Wow, Poissant by Kram. I, I could have sworn I was just gonna let that unfold, but Nakil is gonna be next. And it is going to be a revenge kill by Tira onto Mr. V. But it was all worth it because they took a turret along the way. Really nice set. And at the same time, the confidence of Team Solid Boys to go all in onto that fight that happened a while ago onto the top side. Though, um, they should start clearing off the minion waves onto the bottom side as well to get or give themselves more space to push and uh, dominate the map even further. They got like around, maybe we can say around five minutes to put the game onto an end if they really want to uh, win this because, you know, at sometime around 17 minute mark, it could Lord, be Renegade's game. Soon. It could be Tira's game. It could be Team Jejemon's game overall by the late game time. Yeah. Mm. Ram? Oh. -ho. I'm biting my nails. Any team fight here could be the turn. And the Poissons by Kram is doing so much. And they do well to shut him down. Nakhil gonna come up next. Rene J Pops, the Inferno. Yep. MLA. That is going to be Chang U able to push back. And look at this. Lord, it's not as easy a take given that there are still three defenders. But I think there's enough damage here, especially with the Retribution. The Retribution yeah. on Tan is going to be key. 9-0-3. Wow, this Lancelot is just ready to go. And He's been it's going to be, actually. I think, marching either towards mid or top. I think uh, the, the it's pretty even in here in terms of the HP of the turret, but it might be going on the mid side as a priority. So, them getting that hurt, uh, I mean, that Lord, please do not waste that one out. Get at least one objective, like that of the turret on the bot side. Oh, look at that, the transition towards the mid, the pressuring Team Jejemon to just, you know, back away. We're gonna pressure you even more. And that's what we can continuously do. This is just a minute game time. Man, I, I do feel like that uh, the damage of Kari, Tira is not yet enough. And even the sustain... Yeah. Of uh, Uranus and uh, now. Oh, Poissons! He needs it! There you go, Goris Pathway set. Nakiel tries to survive. I'm pretty sure a revitalizer has been put in there. Doggy able to kill one. Mr. V goes. There you go, Nakiel taken out. And the Poissons still up. Wow, I'm surprised that it was not Kram who went down first. Mr. V, though, a respectable 5 3 3. He's gonna have to take a break from this. Rotation set in by Eds. There's another, and this is going to be both lanes pressured, especially down bottom, by the way. Easy take by the minions. I think the latter is set here. That's a good, noble effort by Team Solid Boys, but also we gotta say this, they are disciplined. At least they did not, as you would say, Kaisaya, go in sour. Yeah. Though I see some other possibility wherein they could have... Um get an objective even faster before the Lord goes down. So they can maybe just allow the Lord go for that uh, take on the mid or march on the mid while one member going for a clear on the top and three members taking the tier to turret down bottom faster. At least no one would die. But one died in here, which is Mr. B onto that team fight a while ago in the mid because they went on for a pressure Mr. V going in the members on the side of Team Solid Boys are still far away now he will get punished for that early dive without his teammates nearby that's what's going to be happening next knucklehead so for low 1 HP all alive still that still no deaths at all 11 0 5 score. will this be a kill? no I mean Eds will get that last hit to take that kill and now it's just one member left on the side of Team Jejemon. This time, what can Akosi Doggy do? There's a minion waves flowing towards the mid. He's, he's placing traps, but look at that. Onto the back side, Grab is ready to stun the hell out of the way of Akosi Doggy. Oh. He might go down, but then again, at least Akosi oh Doggy will go down. Is this gonna be it? I think this is going to be it. We now 